Hey guys, this is Mike with The Wandering Wolf, and we are here at Altoon Ha. We are here at Altoon Ha, and um, we're being a little incognito because we're not exactly sure what the rules are on filming. It did say no filming out at the front, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Sometimes signs are up and order to be ignored. <laughs> but uh, right from the entrance here, you can already see a lot of the uh, site and the ruins here. Looks like they've been doing a lot of work over the years. Let's get in here and check it out. Hey guys, so we are here at Altoon Ha, and this is the Temple of the Sun God here. Uh, the site is actually broken into a Plaza A and a Plaza B. We're in Plaza B. The entire area covers about three square miles. Uh, the site itself is located about an hour north of Belize City, and it's really not that hard to get here. We had no problem finding the place. Um, it's truly, truly an impressive site. But they believe that this place was active from about 900 BC to 1000 AD and housed about, probably about 10,000 people lived here, they estimate at the time. It was a major trading hub for stuff like jade and different types of stones. And this is uh, the largest building that they have unearthed on site, and it is absolutely awesome. This is what I love to do, and I'm really happy to be here. So we're gonna show you guys the rest of the complex and work our way over to Plaza A. We're doing this a little backwards, so follow us along. Behind me here in Plaza B, is the Temple of the Green Tomb. This temple was named that way because they just found one, one tomb here containing 300 different artifacts. We're talking about jewelry, pottery, jade, all sorts of different stuff in here. A lot of which was items traded here between different Mesoamerican cultures throughout the area, all the way up to Teotihuacan. This is the largest temple here in Plaza B, and you can walk up it We'll show you here in a second. There's an access point around the back, which is actually really cool. So, you can see, I think a lot of this would have been perhaps some of the original stonework. A lot of the places you can see where they've done restoration, um, they've put things back the way they believe that it was, but um, you know, it can never be exactly the way it was. So when you get down to stuff where it's really uncovered and down, that's what I really like to see where the original stonework was, I'm getting eaten up by bugs, and uh, you can see the, the, the years of wear and everything on it, you know, that's really interesting to me. So this is a good example of uh, what I was just talking about. You know, you can tell that this has uh, been restored. This is masonry holding the uh, stone together, so it's, you know, cement and stuff like that. Um, and uh, there's a clear difference between here and what we were looking at just a second ago. Um, and some of these different spots um, that you can tell are original stonework and where, then where it's been restored. Most sites are like this. So we are in Plaza A now. Um, there's a couple relatively large structures here. One's unearthed. This one looks restored. Um, and most of these have access points around the back so you can actually walk up behind them and then go up to the top which is actually really unique because a lot of the sites in Mexico and some, a lot of different places that I've been, you can't go up to the top, or if you're used to, you can't anymore. So it's really cool being able to get up to the top of these structures and see what uh, they might have seen from you know, their perspective back in the day. It's really interesting. So this is really, really cool. Like I said before, um, most of these sites, these Mayan sites and stuff, you can't come up to the top of the structures. You can't actually get on them. And um, it's a really cool spot. Now, while the site itself is about uh, three square miles, um, what you can actually walk around and see uh, doesn't encompass that much area. So this is a great, great uh, historical example here of just an inner look into the Mayan civilization, its culture, and how a lot of the different sites were used and operated uh, within the civilization. It's a really cool place. 
So guys, we are outside of Altoon Ha. Um, just to let you know, there is a good spot to stop and eat here. It is the Maya Christmas Skull. We stopped here for a good lunch. They've got Wi-Fi, which is free, and uh, very kind, hospitable people. Um, they took care of us today. Also, to give you a little bit of information about the site, um, there's a lot of bugs. Bring some bug spray. Um, you want some good hiking shoes or just good sneakers. It's uh, 10 US for foreigners to get in. And the site took us probably a couple hours, but we're filming. You could actually run through this site in about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how good a shape you're in and if you're going up to the top of each, uh, each actual building or structure here. So it's a great place to come and visit. We enjoyed our time and uh, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at Altoon Ha. We've had a blast traveling through Belize and we look forward to showing you the rest of our travels. Remember, if you want to support us, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and if you can, share the video. It helps our channel grow. Thank you so much, stay safe, and have a great week.